Alright, today I'm going to show you how to officially unlock the bootloader for the Moto G4 and the Moto G4 Plus. This will be the official method. So if your device shipped with an unlockable bootloader, this will not this will not work. We will be unlocking this bootloader from the Motorola website. So for links to that and for links to things like the USB drivers and how to install ADB and Fastboot, be sure to look in the description below this email, below this video, and check for the full tutorial link as I will have detailed step-by-step -step guides for how to do all of that as well as the links to those downloads there. So to start we're going to need to launch the settings application, scroll all the way to about phone, then we're going to tap on the build number about seven to ten times so that we can enable developer mode. Once the developer options have been enabled go back down to the settings, tap on developer options and then you see we have an OEM unlocking option right here. Just toggle this on, tap on enable, and then we can go ahead and power off the Moto G4. Once the device is powered off, we need to boot it up into fast boot mode. Again, if you don't know how to do that, check the full tutorial below this video. And this will take us to fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode. And with the Moto G4 in fast boot mode, we can go ahead and connect it to the PC with a micro USB cable. And then you're going to want to go to this. Motorola website as it will walk us through the steps on how to check if our device is unlockable and give us the unlock code. It tells us to install the Android SDK. Now this is just for fastboot and ADB tools in the full tutorial I give a link for how to install minimum ADB and fastboot tools and that's what I'll be using in this guide and you're also going to need to install the Motorola USB drivers from the site then we're going to want to double click on the shortcut that the minimal ADB and fastboot program creates for us this will launch a command prompt right in the directory of our ADB and Fastboot tools. With the Moto G4 connected to the PC, we're going to type out Fastboot space OEM space git underscore unlock underscore data. Then we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And you can see we get these, we get the string right here. So we're going to need to right click and click mark. Then we're going to copy all of this data. So this is what the copied string will look like. So we're just going to need to delete all of this excess information. And we want this all in one long string.
once we have deleted all the excess characters and we have the code in one long string we're going to highlight it and click copy then we're going to paste it into this field and then click the can my device be unlocked button As you can see right here, it says, note, if your device is unlockable, a request unlock key button will appear at the bottom of this page, which as we can see here, the unlock key is there. So we're just going to click on agree and then click on request unlock code. We'll get this pop up here asking us if we are sure as this can void the warranty so just go ahead and click on OK and we're gonna get an email with the unlock key now that email should be pretty quick I got it within five seconds of pressing that button once we get that email we open it up and it will give us this special key so we can go back to the command prompt and type in fastboot space OEM space unlock space and then that key. So just to change our attention back to the phone after we have typed out the uh, fastboot OEM unlock command with the key we press enter We are told this command erases all user data. Please rerun this command to continue. So we just type in the command again. We'll see our Moto G4 reboot. And then that's it. Now the, the device is unlocked, the bootloader is unlocked, we can just press on the power button while the start option is highlighted. We get this notification, this little pop-up that reminds us that we have unlocked the bootloader. and then it will go through the typical boot animation sequence. And just like it said in the command prompt, this did erase our user data. So we will have to activate Android and connect our Gmail account once again.